Hello everyone. In the last two months, we've done a lot of engraving. We've done slate coaster engraving, hat engraving, the challenging beer glass engraving using the rotary tool. That was a lot of fun. After all of those, do you have any questions? Do you have any suggestions for us here at Creality? Today, we are going to do something exciting. It is engraving on dinner plates. With holidays, anniversaries, uh, weddings, or even if you just want to personalize your own dinner plates, your own utensils, this is something that we can easily do with the Falcon 2 22 watt. So what we're going to need for today's project, of course, the Creality Falcon 2 22 watt. We need some dinner plates, some engraving marking paper. This is black, so it'll make the engraving show up much better on our white porcelain plates. And then, of course, a pot of water. Before we start, we need to cut the laser engraving marking paper. So we need to cut the paper into the size suitable for the plates. And then we put the paper in the water for a minute, just for a minute, which will help the sticker to peel off. So the paper only has to be in there for one minute. During that time, we can install our laser diode. All right, now that the marking paper has basically separated, okay, we're going to take the carving paper. All right, now that the paper has separated, we're going to peel off the carving paper. No, we're going to peel off the engraving paper. Careful not to turn it around, get it twisted when sticking it onto the plate. The side of the paper that was stuck to the white paper is the side that gets stuck to the plate. Don't flip it over. Now be careful to squeeze out the water and the bubbles as much as possible and keep it flat right here where we're working. All right, so we wait for it to dry, and now that it has, we can put it onto the engraving machine. Usually, and normally we would use the focusing block, but this time it's a little bit different. So we can't use the focusing bar on this one because the sides of the plate are curved. So if we did put it on the focusing bar, say it was here, we would hit the plate. But we want to have as big of a surface as possible for engraving. So I'm just going to raise it up above the edge of the plate, tighten it there, make sure it clears everywhere. And now we will have to manually adjust in our settings the power or the speed of the engraver to get the best result. All right, let's adjust our settings in Lightburn. We're going to select our project here. That's what I want to put on this plate. Change my speed to 3,000 and change my power to 100. That's what we're going to do. And then I want to turn off the air assist because we are engraving, not cutting. Uh, my laser says it's ready. All right, let's start engraving. Okay, now that our engraving is finished, we can see our pattern, basically. However, to get the rest of this paper off, We'll just set it in the water. And this time we're gonna leave it in the water for five to eight minutes. And now it needs to soak for about five to eight minutes. That'll soften the paper up so we can remove it. Okay, it's been five or six minutes. So now we'll take it out of the water. And look at that. The marking paper comes off pretty good. And now we've engraved our favorite pattern on the plate. It was actually a very simple project, something that you can do at home.
All right, so that was so incredibly easy. I hope it's given you the confidence to try it at home. Maybe for some upcoming holidays, for an anniversary, your wedding, or just to give new life to some old dinnerware. Why not try it yourself? Now, after watching our videos, if you have any comments, if you have questions, suggestions, anything, I would love to hear from you. I need ideas. So make a comment down below, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.